Hello guys, today we are doing the month of October, so let's get into it, let's cue that intro. Oh no, and welcome back to the Malaga Career Mode, it's me Dan back again, and today we are just doing the month of October, so uh, just before we start, I just want to say thank you guys for the recent likes and comments recently, and I just want to say thank you to all new subscribers for subscribing, so thank you guys for that as well, and if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button, as it does really help, and don't forget to like the video as well so thank you guys for that so uh if you didn't see last episode we got off to a, well it's not the best start to the champions league we lost to arsenal um so fingers crossed today we'll get back to winning ways in the champions league uh as we do have to face celtic at their place and obviously going at celtic is uh, it's always hard it's always hard to go to celtic because obviously uh, they seem to have this thing about Champions League at home. Uh, you know, they could beat Barcelona at home. You know, you've heard, you know, you, you've seen all these uh, stories about Celtic and uh, winning at home against Champions League rivals. Uh, so fingers crossed we can start off with a victory against Celtic. Can we beat them? Yes, we can. So there we go. 4-0. First three points in the... Oh, what was that? We got first three points in the Champions League. We got four goals. Uh, should have been five, but we've got the goals anyway. So um, Kunku got the goal. Um, and Kunku got two goals, actually. Ruben, who's that? Who's Ruben? Uh, Vitinho missed a penalty, and Fagioli got a late goal at the end there. Um, who is? Oh, it's Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz got a uh, goal. So there we go. <laughs> what, I was going to say, why, why has it not got Ruben Diaz on the back? Anyway, uh, yeah, and Kunku gets man of the match with a 10 rating. So there we go. We shall take it. 62 to the 38. Eight shots, seven on target. Three shots, two on target. And that's a good way to start off the episode with a 4-0, well, thrashing really, at uh, Celtic. So it's good to see that we got the points there. Right, so on to the next game then, which is against Villarreal. And I think we will go with the first team again. So then, you know, they've got a bit of match sharpness because obviously we have been playing the second team quite a lot in the league. Um, so let's put the first team out for this one again. And let's see if we can beat Villarreal. So going in with the first team. And do we beat Villarreal? Yes, we do. So there we go. 2-0. And Kunku and Tanali with the goals. Seven shots, four on target. Two shots, two on target. 60-40 in possession. And, uh, and Kunku got man of the match with an 8.9. So there we go. That will do very nicely indeed. Right. So on to our next game. Uh, which is against... I'm not too sure, actually. I think it's against Rayo Vallecano, I think. Because uh, obviously we do have an international break just before this game. So, fingers crossed, everything will go uh, fine uh, over the international break. And then we shall see. Uh, yeah, so players leaving on international duty. Let's advance a couple of days. And let's get into... The next game, which is against Rayo Vallecano, so we will go in with the second team back to the first, uh, back to the leagues, and obviously we're going to go in with the second team, and we've drew. And to be honest, it was an even game, so I, I will give them that. So a 51-49, six shots, three on target, five shots, three on target. Ricci and Vargas with the goals. Who does get man of the match? It was Ricci with 7.6. It is a draw, uh, but. You know, it could have been worse. So I'll take the draw, but we should have. I think we should have won, really, especially with the uh, with the amount of good players. Now that we have, you know, that second team is pretty much stacked. Um, so I'm quite surprised that we lost that or we drew that game. But hey ho, at least we didn't lose. We got the point. That's all I care about. And you know, uh, if we don't get the free point, if we don't get a point, then what's the point? <laughs> Anyway, on to the next game then, which is against Florentina. It is a big game for us. Obviously, we need to win this one, so we will be going in with the second team. And fingers crossed, we will get the three points. If we don't, there will be question marks. Uh, but I think we should be all right. We should be all right, I guess. But let's see what happens about that. Right, so on to... That Florentina game. So let's play match at the... Well, it's not the Stadio Clasico, is it? Um, 
yeah, first team it is. So can we beat Fiorentina at their place? Come on. Yeah, there we go. 3-1 for uh, Chiesa, Fagioli and Chiesa with two goals. So all the Italians score in Italy. Uh, Mount scored for them. Five shots, four on target. Two shots, one on target. 55 to 45. I'm guessing that's Mason Mount. Um, but uh, yeah, Chiesa got man of match with a 9.9 .9 as well. So there we go. That's another big three points in the Champions League. So we shall take that. Right, so on to the next one, which is against... Uh, who is against? It's in the league. I know that, obviously. Um, is it... No, it's not Valencia. I think we've got Valencia coming up in the next uh, month. If I'm not too mistaken. Is it Valencia? No, we've got Granada. Yeah, it's Granada. Then, yeah, El Granada and Elche. Yeah. Uh, right. Fagiolo, Fagioli wants to play in this game as well. So we'll put the second team back out. Hopefully, this time we will get the three points with the second team because obviously they drew the last game. But let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, this is what I expect from us. And there we go. Talking of objectives, actually, have we done that five? Oh, yeah, we've just done it. Six, we've got six wins uh, in away matches. So there we go. Uh, right, so Fagioli wants to play. So we shall let him play against Granada. Uh, so second team against Granada. We're away. Can we get the three points? Yes, we can. Jesus, 4-1. <laughs> uh, Vatinia must have come on. and sc Yeah, he did come on. Vatinia came on and scored a hat-trick. How about that? Seven shots, six on target, four shots, three on target, 59-41. Um, yeah, Vitinha and Fagioli got the goals. Iona, Iona Nidis got their goal. Um, so, obviously, Vitinha got man of the match with a 10 rating. So, there we go. We shall take that one. Right, so on to the next game, which is against Elche. So, let's put the first team back in once we've done this press conference. Uh, fingers crossed we should be fine as well. I'm currently recording this on uh, deadline day. So I'm, I'm like literally looking at my phone <laughs> when I've, I'm literally just pressing a looking at my phone at the moment. Uh, well, just a minute ago I was. Um, right. Anyway, Fagioli, <laughs> multitasking. Um, shouldn't be doing that. I should be focusing on our, uh, on our um, career mode, shouldn't I really? Right, anyway, oh Christ, um, that is a quite a surprising top five. Uh, so we've got Sevilla, Villarreal, Valencia, and let's go in Madrid. No Barcelona or Real Madrid in the top five. Uh, no, still no, uh, still, I know it's only 10 games in, but blimey. Right, uh, yeah, so first team back in for this game because it is a midweek game. Can we beat Elche? Yes, we can. 4 0. And Kunku gets two goals, a Maida and Chiesa gets the other one. Seven shots, seven on target, two shots, two on target, 58 to 42. And of course, that guy and Kunku gets a 10 rating for the season. And uh, what a signing he's been for us. He's been scoring quite a few goals this uh, episode. So it's great to see that he's getting these goals. And I'm, yeah, I'm very happy that he's scoring goals. Um, that's why I like him. That's why I like him. He's probably like the best player to sign on this game uh, until they update the squads. But uh, yeah, that's good for us. Right. Anyway, let's go on to our next game. We might as well. Uh, we got Osses. I think actually I might go all the way to the Arsenal game. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go all the way to the Valencia game and then we'll do these three games and then if we've got time, I might do a couple more as well. Uh, so, yeah, let's do these last three games in the league and the Champions League. So, up next, we do have Osasuna. Uh, so, we will be back in with the second team. Can we get the victory? Yeah, there we go. Only just 3-2. Conveniently, they had two shots, two goals. Uh, but we'll take it. So, six shots, six on target. Three shots, two on target. Bacola got two goals and Luis Enrique got the other one. 50, 57 to 43 in possession, and Bocola got man of the match with a 9.7. So there we go. We shall take that one. So on to the next one, which is against uh, it is against Fiorentina in the Champions League, isn't it? So we shall put the first team back out for that one. Uh, so let's do that. 
Uh, yep, that's fine. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Much Where's that from? I can't. Ah, uh, oh. someone. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Muchas gracias. So that's what I was thinking about. But someone used to say it, and it's. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Something in the back of my mind. I remember seeing it on a program somewhere. Um, anyway, let's go on to this Florentina game, and let's see if we can beat Florentina. If we get the three points at Florentina, that would be good. Uh, oh no, it's at our, that's at our place, I do believe. And are we top of top of the group? No, we're not. So we need to beat Florentina here. So can we beat Florentina with the first team again? Yes, we can. 2-0. Borea and Almeida with the goals. Six shots, six on target. Three shots, one on target. 59-41. And yes, he did. Borea got man of the match with an 8.6. So there we go. We shall take that one. So that is a massive three points in the Champions League. So we're back to uh, winning ways in the Champions League. Two wins. Uh, oh, sorry, three wins out of three now. Uh, three wins out of four, I should say. So we are playing good at the moment. So that Arsenal game will be the main game for us to hopefully get uh, get to the points, I should say. So fingers crossed we'll do that. So to finish off then, we do have Ibar before the international break. Uh, so let's play match against Ibar. Can we finish off with a victory against Ibar? Fingers crossed we can, and we can. So there we go, 3-0. Uh, Barcola missed a penalty late on. Malero, Luis Enrique, and Fagioli with the goals. Six shots, five on target. Three shots, three on target. 58-42. And uh, Fagioli got a man of the match with a nine rating. So there we go. We shall take that one. So there we go, guys. That will do for today. We've done the whole month of October, and we've done a couple games in November as well. So... That uh, we've done quite a few games in this episode, so it's good to see that we've done. Uh, well, we've done what I think we've done about six or seven games, and uh, we've only drew the one game, so that is fantastic. So, anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. So, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. So, right, guys, I'm going. Bye.